pray to the Holy Father, so Jesus Christ, your God, have mercy and save us from me. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, of now and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit, heal our infirmities, and your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Son of the beginning of his father, who in the garments of thy goodness was in the last. 
thousand pigs of clothes and flesh, which crucified and buried for us, and gave very full of thankless ones, and brought thy own blood into fashion. Our nature, which had been corrupted by sin, do thou thyself, O Lord, King, accept the repentance even to me, a sinner, and kind of fear to me, hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven before thee, and I am not worthy to gaze upon the height of thy glory. For I have provoked thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and by not obeying thine ordinances. But thou, Lord, who art forbearing, long suffering, and plenteous of mercy, hast not given me up to perish in thine enemies, most surely awaited my conversion. For thou, friend of man, hast said to thy prophet that thou dost not desire with desire the death of the sin, but that he should return and live. For thou dost not will the master of the work of thy hand should perish, neither are thou pleased in the perdition of men. But thou desirest that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, Though I am unworthy of both heaven and earth, and even of this transient life since I have fully subjected myself to sin and am a slave to pleasures, and have a face I am yet being thy work of creation, I, the wretched one, do not despair of my salvation, but emboldened by thine immeasurable compassion, I draw nigh. Wherefore, receive with me, O Christ, thy friend of man, as thou didst the harlot and the thief and the publican and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins, O thou that takes away the sin of the world. Healest men's infirmities, who calls all to thyself them that labor and are heavy laden, and givest them rest. Who gives not to call sinners, but the, who gives not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And cleanse me of all the fire of my flesh and spirit. Teach me to attain holiness and fear of thee, that with this my conscious care I may receive the portion of thy holy gifts and be united with thy holy body and blood, and have thee dwelling and abiding in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Yea, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, that not the communion of thy demand and life creating mysteries be unto me for judgment, nor may I become informed in the soul and body of partaking them unworthily. But grant until my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy gifts for communion with thy Holy Spirit as a provision for life everlasting, and as an acceptable defense that I judge shall be on that even I, with all I elect, may become a partaker of thy undefiled good things which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified unto thee. I know, O Lord, that I partake of thine immaculate body and precious blood and work of thee, and that I am guilty in eating and drink judgment to myself, not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ and God. By trusting in thy compassion, say, Take courage and approach thee who did say, He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood, abide in me and I in him. Wherefore have compassion, O Lord, and make not an example of me to sin. But deal with me according to thy mercy, and let these holy gifts be unto my healing and purification. And enlightenment, protection, and salvation, sanctification of both soul and body, unto the averting of every kind of sea, and evil deed, and diabolical operation, which in no way be in my members, and the confidence and love toward thee, unto an amendment of life and stability, unto an increase of virtue and perfection, unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, unto communion with the Holy Spirit, and provision for life everlasting, and as an acceptable defense of thy dread tribunal, not into judgment. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou shouldst come with the root of the house of my soul, for all is desolate and fallen, thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay thy head. But even as from on high thou didst humble thyself for our sake, so now conform thyself to my loneliness. And in this thou didst deign to lie in a cave and in the nature of irrational beasts, so also deign to lie in the nature of my irrational soul and to my vile body. And even as thou didst not disdain to enter down with sinners in the house of some of the so also consent to enter the house of my lowly soul, which is leprous and sinful. And even as thou didst not reject the woman who was hard and sinned like me when she approached and touched thee, so also be compassionate with me, the sinner that I approached thee and touched thee. And as thou didst not abhor her defiled mouth, and polluted mouth which kissed thee, neither do thou abhor my mouth, yet more defiled and polluted than hers. Nor my tongue yet more unclean, blood the life hold thy all holy body, and thy precious blood be in and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, unto alleviation of the burden of my many offenses, unto defense against every operation of the devil, unto the averting and hindering of my vile and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the accomplishment of thy commandments, unto the increase of thy divine grace, and unto the attainment of thy kingdom. For it is not as one presumptuous that I draw nigh unto thee, O Christ my God, but as one taking courage and an effort of goodness, that I may not, by long understanding from thy communion, become afraid to know it. Wherefore I pray thee, O Lord, our holy O Master, that you pardon my soul, my body, my mind, and my heart, my readings and vows, and wholly renew me, who with fear of thee and my memories make thy sanctification indelible within me. And be thou my helper, my defender, and my life and peace, and may be worthy to see the right hand of thy saints, by the prayers and intercessions of thine all immaculate mother, thine material ministers, and immaculate powers, and of all the saints who, 
to you, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone has the authority to forgive men their sins. Since thou art good and friend of man, overlook my offenses, whether committed in knowledge or ignorance, and I count me worthy to receive without condemnation that the divine, glorious, and immaculate life creating mysteries, not in punishment, nor in the increase of sins, but unto purification and sanctification, and as an earnest of the life of the kingdom come, as a rain party in hell, for the overturning of adversaries, and for the blowing out of my many transgressions, for thou art a God of mercy and compassion and love for man, and to thee do we sin of glory. Father and the Holy Spirit, in our number, in the age of the ages. Amen. For the Lord's came from the cloud, from the heart of the King of us, and from the tongue of the cloud, and from the soul of the sin, and the soul of my Christ, receive my plea. He abstained not, nor shall me, though my works may have a manner. Though my shamelessness and boldness, but with great money, tell me of my Christ, what I desire. Rather be that I was dark than what I need to do in order. I have sinned more than the heart that's born, learning of that logic, when I didn't purchase her most precious. But with great boldness, she approached thee. And I did feel in the name my Christ, my God and Master, even as thou hast not shown her when she came with heartfelt fervor. Thus the word did not disdain me, nay, but rather thou granted to embrace the feet and kiss them, and with streams of tears to wash them, as with precious for most costly, with, with great boldness to anoint them. Wash me with my tears, and thereby cleanse me, word of God, and name me. Grant remission of my failings, and bestow me forgiveness. All my evil deeds thou knowest, and my wounds thou knowest also, and my bruises thou beholdest. My faith on us likewise, my eagerness thou seest, and my groans thou hearest also. There doth not escape thy notice, neither one tear, nor redeemer, nor a fraction of a tear drop, O my Lord God and Creator. Yea, thy eyes can see my being while yet in some fashion. In thy book all thoughts and actions, even those not yet enacted, are inscribed for thee already. See my lowliness and toil, and the greatness of my suffering, and above all, forgive me all the sins I have committed, so that with a cleansed and true heart, and with a, with, and a mind of fear of trembled, Soul can try to know me, and may draw nigh to partake of thy all pure and spotless mysteries, whereby all who eat and drink thee with the hearts and sincere hours are both deified and quickened. But thou sayest, O my master, he that eateth with my flesh and doth drink my blood also doth apply to me most truly, and in him I found also. Holy true is this word spoken by my Lord and God, Master, for whoever doth partake of these divine common graces which impart deification is alone in truth no longer. It is with thee, Christ, thou true light of the power of triple day star. Which illumineth the whole world. Lest then I remain alone now and apart from thee, life giver of my breath, my life, my gladness, the entire world's salvation. For this cause do I approach thee with the soul and tread into your world. While thou art some of my failings, I entreat thee to receive me, so that I may not partake of thy life giving blameless mysteries, and not suffer condemnation. That is, thou wouldst say, Thou mightest dwell with me when Christ wretched, lest that thou deceive upon me all bereft of that divine grace in which I have to seduce me, and was keeping coming more me from thy words of faith to God by Wherefore I fall down before thee and cry out to thee with fervor, as thou didst receive and welcome both the Father and the heart of the two unite to thee. So likewise, the most merciful receive thee, the great prophet, and the sinner, the most father and the vile one, as I dare not to approach thee with the soul of the and humble. Savior, well, I know that no one has sinned or set I against thee, nor have brought the deeds which I have. Yet again, I know this also, that the greatest of transgressions, nor enormity and sin, has surpassed my God and Savior's great long suffering and mercy, and exceeding love to mankind. With the oil of compassion, thou hast cleansed and rendered shining all those who repent with fervor, and thou makest them partakers of thy light and all abundance, and true shares of thy Godhead. And the marvel for the angels of the human understanding, thou hast conversed with them often as with friends most true and trusted. These things don't make me daring, these things can be blamed for Christ God, trusting that in the abundance of thy benefactions toward us, with rejoicing and with trembling, I partake now of the fire. Though but grass, so awesome wonder, yet we do in mind past heaven. Like that bush of old on Sinai, which was unconsumed of burning. Wherefore, with the mind was thankful, and the heart was thankful also. Thankful also to the members of my soul and my body. I adore and magnify thee, O my God, and glorify thee, as one verily most blessed, now and ever, to all ages. O Lord, who alone are pure and corrupt, and through the ineffable compassion of thy love for man, is to assume our whole substance from the pure and virginal blood of her that, in a manner surpassing nature, conceived thee by the coming of the divine spirit, and by the good will of the everlasting Father. Christ Jesus, the wisdom, peace, and power of God. O thou who in thy nature taken upon thyself to accept the life creating and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, do thou mortify all the soul corrupting passions of my body. Thou who by thy burial didst dispose the dominions of Hades, do thou bury with good thoughts my evil schemes and dispel the spirits of wickedness. Thou who by thy life creating resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen first parent, raise me up who slipped down into sin, and set before me the ways of her 
repentance. Thou, who by thy glorious ascension didst deify the flesh that thou hast taken upon thyself, and didst honor by the ascension of the right hand of the Father. By thy partaking of thy holy mysteries, make me worthy of the portion of the saints at thy right hand. Thou, who by the coming of the comfort of thy spirit, didst make thy sacred disciples precious vessels, show me forth also as a receptacle of his coming. Thou art to come again to judge the world in righteousness, be it thy good will, but I also meet thee in the clouds of my creator and pastor, with all thy saints. Thou art thou in the glorify and thee. With thy Father, which is thy beginning, and thy all holy good and thy great spirit. Now I enter into the ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of thy temple, yet I do not put away my grievous thoughts. But do thou, Christ God, and since justify the public and have mercy on the king and Irish woman. And open the gates of paradise to the thief. Open unto me the vows of thy love for man. And as I approach and touch thee, receive thy like woman with an issue of blood and like a harlot. For the one by touching the hem of thy garment receives given readily. And the other by clasping thy hand of the feet became released from her sin. And I, deplorable though I be, dare to receive thy whole body. May I not be consumed, but receive thee even as these. And do thou enlighten the senses of my soul and burn up the indictments of my sins. By the intercession of the fruit that seeketh thee there, and the heavenly host, for blessed art thou to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thy immaculate body, and that this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me and forgive my, forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that I am condemned and may partake of thy immaculate mysteries, unto the remission of sins and unto life everlasting. Behold, I approach for divine communion, O maker, burn me now as I partake. For fire, thou art firm and worthy, purify the land of every stain. Of the mystic suffer, of Son of God, receive me today as a communicant. For I will not speak the mystery to thy enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss to Judas. But like a thief, I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou beholdest to be a fine blood, for it is a burning coal, consuming the unworthy. The body of God will be a fire for marriage with thee. If I have spirit and waters in earth and mine, thou hast spent me with yearning, O Christ, by thy divine love hast thou changed me. But with thine immaterial fire consumed, thy sins, and tell me worthy to be filled with delight in thee, to make me the joy of good one, and to magnify the two kinds. Into the splendor of thy saints, how shall I, the unworthy one, enter? Or should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my best for Delphi and For it is not a wedding garment, and it is one bound by she can cast off of the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the defiler of my soul, and save thee, since thou art the friend of man. O man, be friend and master, but Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to me, be unto me for judgment through my unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and as an earnest of the life in the kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in the Lord the hope of my salvation. O thy mystic suffer, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thy enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss to Judas. Like the thief, I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. Pages 14 and 15 in your blue books. Thank you. <clears throat> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop and Father Savas, for the Honorable President, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our country, the present, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. <coughs> Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. 
For you are a good God and love mankind, and to we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are God and holy unto you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
δύναμις. Let us be attentive. Wisdom. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. Arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch, who has been repro- reproved by John for Herodias, his brother's wife, and for all the evil things that Herod has done, adding this to them all, that he shut up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form as a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. East. That ever guarded by your might, we may scribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Remember all of us in his kingdom, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord Lord. that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord Lord. and let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. Let us love one another that with oneness of mind we may confess. The doors are doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, whom through all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. <clears throat> Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive 
that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Singing the triumphal hymn, him exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing it, he hallowed it and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. <coughs> Likewise, after partaking the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech you and pray and treat. Send down your Holy Spirit upon these and upon these gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. That which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that may be for you partake with the vigilance of soul and remission of sins, communion of the Holy Spirit, fullness of your kingdom of heaven, fullness before your judgment and condemnation, because we offer you the spiritual worship for those who are close and faithful, our fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, <coughs> ascetics, and the righteous spirit which made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
among the first, remember, Lord, Archbishop and Father Savas, grant unto your holy church and in peace, safety on their health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth, and remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all the people. And all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy celestial mystical altars and offer of spiritual fragrance, may return sent down upon the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And grant us, Master, with boldness, without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, the Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. <clears throat> Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind, every only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life greeting spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God.
most precious blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, has come to be able to increase the Son of us for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Amen. With the fear of God, with faith and in love, draw near. Receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. The servant of God, Nectarios, receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. The handmaiden of God, who receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. The servant of God, John Simeon, receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Our Savior receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Josiah receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided trinity. For the trinity has saved us. Oh, now and forever into the ages of ages.
eyes have and partake in the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, creating awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you, and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise your God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have the Father's entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always now, forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you, his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercession of his all pure and immaculate and holy mother, of the power of the precious and life giving cross, of the protection of the bindless powers of heaven, of the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy and glorious, praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, triumphant martyrs, of our righteous God-bearing fathers, of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy, righteous answers of God, Joachim and Anna, of our father among the saints, Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa, our father among the saints, Domitian, Bishop of Melitene, and our Father, Marcy, and Presider and Steward of the Great Church, whose memories we celebrate today and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity be with you all and protect you all. You may come up to receive in Dideron and a blessing. Thank you. Now we continue the communion of the life, great and mystic gifts, through the good praise and good thanksgiving, and for one from my soul, crying to God. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be a communion of thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy and worthy as I am to partake of thy immaculate and heavenly gifts. Lord, I'm going to pray now to be beside for us and just rise again, and this grant us these thy dread and uncreated mysteries, for the benefit of the saints. Bodies. Grant also that these will be unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the aversion of everything lost out of the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and pain, and faith unashamed, for the fullness, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and pain, for faith unashamed, for the plenitude of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for the increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace and never live. And thus, and from this life, I have passed in the hope of life eternal. May I attain to everlasting rest for the Son, his unceasing and dumbly festival, and then ending the delight of the holy and active beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation praise the end of the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things that thou hast bestowed upon me, and for the participation in thy I pray thee that for all good one, thou friend of man, guard me under protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant that with a pure conscience that my last breath and more than partake of thy holy gifts. Unforgiveness of sins and life everlasting, for thou art the bread of life and the wellspring of holiness and the giver of all that is good. And to thee do we send the glory of the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into the ages of ages. 
a simple unity of my five senses, and that now the whole of me will have fear. Ever shelter God and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse and order me aright, make and come and give me understanding and enlighten me. Show me forth as a habitation of the spirit only and no longer as a habitation of sin. Let us then abode from the entrance into my communion, every evil doer and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercept as intercessions I bring to thee all the sanctified the rights of the incorporeal powers. Let four of the wise apostles and prove thy parents' thoughtless mother. The prayers of these receive on my compassion and correct and make me who worship thee a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification, O Lord, and illumination of our souls. And to thee, as to our God and Master, we each day as a sin, as a spinning wheel. All sin is the glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for eternal life, and thy precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and in the dread second. Make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. By the intercessions of thine all men, to thy mother and of all the saints, amen. All holy ladies, thou tokest the light in the dark, and so my hope of protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy and worthy as I am to partake of thy Worthy to be a communion of the immaculate body and the precious blood of thy son, but that thou would give us birth through the true light, and light in the light of heart, my eyes and my heart. But thou would just conceive the source of immortality. Life to me, who am dead in sin, and thou art compassionate and loving mother of the merciful God. Have mercy on me and give my heart to function and contrition, humility in my reasonings and recall my thoughts from their captivity. And deem me worthy to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries and the healing of all, both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may humbly glorify you all the days of my life. For blessing and glorify our God in the ages of Blessing the Lord, fire down the ages of ages. For blessing the Lord, fire down to the ages of ages. Amen. Tell us how the servant of our peace so now to according to thy word, for my eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples. The light of our relation to the nations and the glory of the people of Israel. Holy God, who mighty and immortal have mercy on us. Holy God, who mighty and immortal have mercy on us. Holy God, who mighty and immortal have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever to the ages of ages. All holy Trinity have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, your partner, and make peace, holy one, visit the pure for each day you say. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now and to the day you come in. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and will be done on earth, and it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the Prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. For you, O Lord, were baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father were witness unto you, calling you his beloved Son. And the Spirit, in the form of the dove, confirmed the truthfulness of his word. Christ our God, who has revealed himself and has enlightened the world, glory to you. Today is the beginning of our salvation, the revelation of the mystery of ages. The Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel proclaims this gift from God. Together with him we cry out to you, O Dale Tropos, Hail thou full of grace, the Lord is with you. O God, our fathers that are dealing with us according to thy gentleness, take not thy mercy from us, but by thy entreaties, guide our life in peace. Grace shining forth from my mouth like a beacon at the loom of the universe, and disclosed to the world treasures of unconsciousness. Then show us the heights of humility, who whilst instructing us by thy word that Father God and Christus will intercede with the word of Christ our God to save our souls. Thou hast appeared unto the whole world, and the light of 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for God is the age of ages. Amen. For honorable from the chair and down to the paramount glories of the seraphim, and even though God from the birth to God's word, the very death of the Savior that I am blind, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, and Jesus Christ, for God, have mercy on us. Amen. And ye, O Lord, 